So it's a beautiful morning here. Well, it's cloudy now, but I know the sun's going to come out. Hi, Clara. You ready to go to the altar jumble? Yes, I am. Cool. Well, uh, you want to take the Jag today, didn't you? Yeah. Well, we can only go if it starts. No problem. Seat belts. Nice and smooth. So today we're going to the Bewley Auto Jumble, which is kind of a it goes two times a year. You have a spring one, you have an autumn one, and everyone goes to empty their garages for knickknacks and bits and bobs that don't need car parts. I don't really need anything, but if a couple of nice tools show up, I'll be interested. I, uh, the shopping list is a couple of proper good quality vices. Maybe some uh, metal shaping tools would be nice. Um, yeah, shrink a stretcher, something like that. I don't think I'd fit that in the car though, but uh, let's keep, keep an eye out and see what shows up. I like these Triumph, this is 1500, not a Dolomite. Oh, 1500 TC. 1500 TC, <laughs> I was mistaken. Twin carb. Twin carb, and this car has never been restored, it's all original paint, interior, yeah. everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you're a lucky man. Yeah, I don't know he left anyway, but. No. Ones, else. You find it drives well? Oh, yes, it goes like a train. Well, the train means straightforward. Oh, we're going around corners. We're going around corners, yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, a little bit of a stuff from there. Yeah. It's been polished and ported. A bigger car from it, but apart from that. It's all original. That's amazing how well this has been preserved. Yeah. Oh. If you got a good one, we put a decent paint on it in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the paint's good and thick. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not. It's before they started with these uh, environmental paints oh, that yeah. flaked yeah. off after That's a right. couple of years. Good old, good old cut of like something like that. So. Do you mind if I get a photo of, uh, just on the inside? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Very classy. Very cool. Thank you. pretty cool one isn't it Clara? You like this one? Yeah it's the beetle car I think. And it's a beetle and it's called a beetle because it kind of looks like a beetle doesn't yeah. it? And this one is kind of, it's got what you'd say kind of a California look because it's very low and um, it's kind of made to look a bit extra, I don't know what it's made to look like but it's supposed to look extra cool when it's this low. You like this one don't you Clara? Yeah. This is called an MG Midget and I've actually owned one of these, um, a bit as a part exchange thing. But it's the uh, perfect beginner's classic. And uh, would I have one today? Probably not because I have other options. If I lost everything I had, well, this is what I'd start with again because they're, they're reasonable, they're easy to work on, you can get all the parts for them. So MG Midget, classic. You like this one as well, didn't you, Clara? Yeah, me too. Well, this is a Morris Minor Thousand, Woody, and it's probably the prettiest, what most British people will see on the road as a classic car, because there's 
lots of them out about because they're cheap and nice to work on. Uh, unfortunately, they are very slow and a bit of a death trap. But besides that, they're really charming, really nice, good for small B roads, stuff like that. Not really a highway cruiser, but I suppose you could put a bigger engine in there. But very nice with the, um, with the woody. Okay, well now that I'm in the Jaguar group, uh, it's nice to see something. This is a coupe, so much more desirable than the one I have, but it's more rusty than mine, so that uh, makes me feel better about the rust I need to do. But you know, what a cool beater to run around in. I, I do approve. Very cool. Not sure about the uh, welding work done here. Could have probably done a bit smoother, but um, it sure does look good. on the parking lot, but I do like these, um, be perfect kind of, it'd be a cool car for you when you get old enough to drive, wouldn't it? I think it sure would, but yeah, um, we'll see, yeah. we'll see what but we'll see have. what cars we'll have. Like, you got to tell me one. what's your favourite. Well, they are really both really good in the insides, um, but I think it's the green one. Yeah, it's, it got, have a roof or... it's got um, very good details, but if we just had a roof as well, sliding, that would be very nice as well. Now oh, this is something right up my alley. A 124 Fiat 1800. I don't know how much R buff it is, but it's got lots of R buff badges on it, so that does, does indicate there might be something special with this one. But it's super cool. I do love it. These are known for rusting, but if you get a rust free example or something that somebody's already done the job. Um, yeah, no, I really, I really like these. I think it's really cool angles, shapes, everything. It's uh, really enjoyable to see. So this is the monorail that goes through the Bewley Museum itself. Pretty cool. It's not just an art jumble, but if anybody wants to go to Bewley, there's a fantastic museum here as well. Yeah, no, I don't want to lose it. gentleman's racer and look who we found Hola. mr that's classic what are you flogging today a t3 a t25 oh classic come on how can you how can you go wrong with this that left hand drive it's got blossom it's had a load of interest actually yeah well it wouldn't surprise you the right time of year isn't it spring oh, mot yeah mot ready, ready to go ready to roll um, looks, looks I mean, Too that's bad. the worst angle. It's just a little bit yeah. down there, but underneath it's rock solid. For one of these, it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, yeah really good. I mean, it's a Remo as well, so it's nice. It's like a back. Nice. Oh, it looks got flowers on it, Clara. Matches your jumper. <laughs> <laughs> a bit 
It drives great. Yeah, 160 cool. diesel chugs along. Yeah, yeah. We'll get you there. Probably get tons of interest from like you know a Dutch guy yesterday and a German couple today. They're already yeah. Left hand drive. Well, it's a German car, isn't it? Well, he was yeah exactly. So Deutsch, D speed. for Deutschland. Oh yeah yeah. I see what the D on the back. I didn't know. Yeah, that. there you go. Um, but he's saying in Europe these are like 12, 15,000 euros. Really? Yeah yeah. Well, 15,000 euros. How much do you want for it? Six. Six two nine five. Bargain. Well, that's what I think. You'll sell this today. I, I, I think so. It'll go to Europe for sure. Yeah. But it's just it's just price right. You know. Hopefully. And have a bit of top and gas. He's even got a fridge as well. Nice. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Clara? Little <laughs> yeah, bunny there. I like that. You just glued it on something to make oh, it. Oh, they've bolted it on. Oh, that's cool. So what type of car is this guy? Oh, this is an MG. Um, not too nice. <coughs> MG TF 1954. So, kind of designed for the American market and everywhere. All the GIs wanted British sports cars. Very cool. All right, well, 35 grand will get you in the Jaguar world. 1963 E-Type, Series 1, completely and absolutely <laughs> rock. <laughs> so you get an engine, you get a gearbox, you get some bits and bobs. Everybody likes to see a project like this, but I don't think I'd like to take it on, that's for sure. Look at this. Can I show you the floor, Clara? Come look at this. How much do you want? But then, you know, I think this isn't... If you went a bit earlier... <laughs> Where do you put your feet, Clara? Down there. Down there. Is that a Flintstones car? You use your legs to power it. It's a little bit optimistic on the price-wise, I would say. Um, it's beyond... I don't know. I guess you could salvage it. I didn't touch it. <laughs> you're, my, you're my witness. I didn't touch it. it just, I, I saw the whole car kind of like bending in the middle there. Should we buy this, Clara? No. No. Good choice. I guess what's how much to shell then? Hey, you gotta buy that, 25 plus that. Nah, don't think so. There's a pocket watch graveyard. Sad how a lot of these have ended up like this, but that's the way it is. You ready for some lunch? Yeah. Clara had a bit of a fall in the playground, so we got an ice pack. How's your knee feeling? A bit better? That's good. Well, Clara had a fall in the um, playground, so her knee hurt a bit, and there was no point to keep walking for hours through the water jumble, even though I really wanted to. But. Um, I thought it was better we just go home after our lunch and um, hopefully next year I'll go back and actually buy something. But I did have a good day, a uh, nice hang out with Clara and uh, good to take the Jag out. Until next time, hope you all have a good one. Action.